Hey guys, welcome to this video and with this video, I am starting the tutorial series on the Google Data Studio and I ac accidentally jumped on the Google Data Studio when I was exploring something related to my YouTube account and I just wanted to explore some data and I was searching about it and that's where I stumbled upon this Google Data Studio which I found it really amazing. I was really not aware that a product like Google Data Studio uh, is really available. So far I've been using the Click product or the Tap You product but after finding Google Data Studio I must say that uh, it's a tool which everyone should be aware of though it is in initial stages but it's an amazing uh, platform for building the visualization. So let me give you some of its uh, facts or benefits of using the Google Data Studio. So first of all it's free so a good reason to say yay. But not only this, it's always free. So it's no trial period like Tableau, you have 14 days of trial period. And in case of Click, they have just uh, taken away entire thing. I mean, you can't use it unless you pay them. So it's free. You can use it uh, for an extended or for forever. Like you use Gmail account or you use Google Drive and stuff like that. Well. You have connectivity with the 250 plus data sources, including the all of almost all of the digital marketing platform. For example, YouTube, FPs, the social media sites. So if you want to connect that or Google ads or things like that, there are like 250 plus uh, data sources that you have, which you can connect through. Uh, so as I said, uh, it's in its initial stages, it's launched in, um, it was launched in the 2016 and uh, right now it is 2020 so still four years old but with that it has done a lot of significant improvements which when i was exploring this i was really amazed at the number of options that are available and the flexibility that it gives but still uh, it has basic features when you compare it with the click or tab view so a small game for that um, awesome for youtubers or digital marketers like i said it's it's a product from google and google's main plat uh, you know income usually comes from the uh, advertisements like advertisement it runs on the google search or the uh, youtube and other sites like that which google product has and uh, for digital marketers you know learning all of the coding extracting the data and then visualizing it's a it's a different task altogether. I mean, you really need a programmer for that. But Google Data Studio makes it really, you know, simple for the digital marketers who do not have that much of a technical knowledge, but have a domain knowledge on the uh, digital marketing. So amazing product for them. And then finally, you can share your work easily with others, like uh, you share your Google Drive files. I mean, there is a share link and you can just go ahead and share that. Well, not only that, you can also schedule it so with the free platform having that feature like scheduling or sharing it's a big yeah what i feel i think that's something which is generally not available with the most of the uh, platforms which are free as well you can share with others you can schedule the reports and do stuff like that all right now uh, let's see how you can get the google data studio well, to get that, you need to come here on the datastudio.google.com slash overview. And over here, the you have a couple of tabs. And the last tab is basically the home where it will ask you to sign in. So you need to have the Google account or the Gmail account to go inside and start using it. That's a prerequisite. But apart from that, there are some good information which has been given like gallery some of the information about the innovative visualization or the dashboards that has been created with the help of the the uh, data studio uh, you have connect to data uh, here i said 250 plus i was like little wrong you have you have uh, 220 connectors uh, which you know they are expanding almost every with every new release so so info connector like you know you have google sheets google ad manager or google analytics postgres sql uh, 500 plus marketing data sources and a uh, lot of information that you can further explore as per your needs but just wanted to show you the different connectors and then the visualizations that you have uh, which is which is different from uh, what uh, in build you will find it within the google data studio but this is the new visualization which has been contributed by the uh, community 
and you can create your own visualization as well and you can contribute apart from this you can see all the different charts which are available for you to use it and finally when you go to the home it will ask you to sign in into the data studio and once you sign in this is how the google studio first screen will going to look like where you have the option of creating a blank report but apart from that you have the tutorial report you have acme marketing you have search console and you can basically come over here which is the gallery and you can see all the different uh, example dashboards that is being given by the data studio apart from that uh, from the main screen as well which i showed you a uh, few minutes before you can also look at the different types of examples here i just want to give you a quick information about the topics that i will be covering and here is a list which i have prepared so step by step we will going to know uh, about all of these topics in the future so introduction of google data studio and how to get it which we have covered it today and then we will move on to these topics which you can pause the screen and read it but what i want to show you is basically these different 20 uh, topics as well as uh, within the fourth uh, section you have some subtopics all of these topics like related to the charts and working with the google data studio things like how to create filters how to work with the uh, calculations which is related to the dates how to create calculated fields and stuff like that is something which we i will going to cover so 20 is something which i have uh, prepared so far which you can as i said pause the video and uh, listen to it but apart from that if you think there is something more that needs to be covered or you want me to cover then you can let me know in the comments also uh, what do you think about uh, about this entire structure you can let me know in the comments and i will try my best to consider your comment uh, for the future videos so that's about it now let's meet in the next video with the actual working within the tablet within the uh, google studio